The federal interest rate is around 1.5 to 1.75. It could reach around 3 to 4 percent by the end of this year. Up as much as three quarters of a percent, the highest rise in over 25 years. This rise shows a large difference in an economy today versus what it was during the COVID pandemic. COVID killed the Fed funds rate. It went to zero. So it was zero for a long time, and now it's going up. And the thing that it's doing, it's going up fast, very fast. The increase forecasts a federal interest rate between 3 and 4 percent by the time 2022 is over. The Fed funds rate is the rate that banks borrow from the Fed overnight. Banks are going to pay more, which means they're going to pass that cost on to you. Evan says the dramatic hike is a move to slow down inflation rates, but could swing the economy in the other way. So that's why they, they raise this, because they don't want it to be a hard landing. But it, it's such a hard thing to do that they are willing I'm willing to bet they're willing to put us in a recession to calm inflation. One of the biggest concerns with the economy is the housing market. This higher federal interest rate will affect who's able to purchase homes. So if you have a $150,000 home at 3% interest versus a $150,000 home at 5.5% interest, now suddenly somebody um, who is in a lower income bracket can't afford as much house as they could have nine months ago or a year ago. Stephen says if some buyers hold off on looking for new homes, the housing market could benefit from it. And hopefully that will at least slow the price of inflation in homes, um, if not even maybe dial it back a little bit. Evan says that with this interest hike, that CDs could accrue more interest and also bonds would pay out more. Reporting live in Springfield, Parker Padgett, Ozarks First.